Welcome back. Today we're getting to the second video of our shooting series. The first video we talked about how we hold the ball, correct hand position, how our fingers should lay against the ball. This video we're going to talk about the feet position as well as our shot pocket and our set position and how we actually initiate the jump shot. The first thing we're going to cover is the position of the feet when shooting. The ideal position is a nice shoulder width balanced athletic stance. This is going to be crucial for getting your shot off correctly. What we don't want to do is get too wide in our stance. So a few reasons for this, but one is we can't react quickly and jump up and spring up and get that shot off. And it also makes it awkward for us to pass out of that position or to dribble out of that position. Similarly, if you get our feet too close together, it's not correct because we lose a ton of balance that way. We all know there's contact on the basketball court and any little nudge is going to throw you off your shot. So we need a nice, balanced, athletic position that you feel comfortable in. All right, now we're going to talk about the shot pocket. The shot pocket is simply the position that we enter our shot out of. You also hear it called the shot chamber or various other terms, but we like to call it the shot pocket. Really, you have your hands in your proper shooting position on the ball. You're relaxed, but you have a nice firm grip on the ball, and you're in that same athletic, balanced, shoulder width stance that we just talked about. Now, the thing about this position is it easily allows you to enter into your shot but it doesn't limit you. You could pump fake from the, this position, or you could pull the ball down and go right back into your triple threat position, or pull it down and pass or dribble. So your options are still available to you in this position, you're not limited. So this position flows directly into the shot. Again, eyes forward, balanced stance, hands in the correct position. The shot pocket flows directly into the set position. The set position is where we actually begin to execute the shot. So you notice you move directly from the shot pocket into the set position. However, it shouldn't be herky-jerky movement. It should be smooth. Now you notice here there's a 90 degree angle formed at the top and the bottom of the arm with the shooting arm. One way to actually test this is to put the ball inside the arm instead of in the hand, so you can get a feel for how that should feel. Now one important thing to note is that the entire right side of the body is aligned. From the right ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, elbow, all the way up to the ball. The complete shooting side should be aligned. This is going to help tremendously with accuracy. Be careful not let any one part of the body get too far out of line. Particularly the elbow is the thing a lot of people have trouble with when they're starting out. Shot pocket, set position, shot. Remember, shot pocket, set position, right into the shot. So do some work on getting into the shot pocket and set position. Make sure you have a nice balanced stance. Feel what it feels like to, to have that solid base and to be able to move in any direction or Go right into the dribble. Play with it. Practice on rollouts. Square your body. Work on it. So there you have it. That's a little bit more about how we position our feet, and then the shot pocket and the set position, and how we initiate and engage in our jump shot. Remember, like the video on Facebook. Leave comments. Let us know what you think. Ask us questions. We're here to help. Good luck. Awesome.